last night, Sam, and the, the first couple shifts of the game, they were all over Colorado College. And what you want to do is you want to make that team go away and let them understand that this is going to be a hard game tonight. Logan Will got his own rebound and scored on the backhand. A minute 20 in, the Tigers strike. Well, a fortunate bounce there for Logan Will. The puck went off the backboards and it came right back to him and close couldn't get over to that far post quick enough. Watch, he's just going to carry the puck in, takes the shot, it's going to come right back to him and he wasted no time. He just one-timed it with his backhand. Zachariah Wisdom, who had a big goal in the third period, up for Varemya. Luke Middlestat steals. To Jimmy Clark who crosses the line. He's got oh. and Strobel tie game. One one on Strobel second of the year. Uh, what a quick uh, uh, a quick transition play. Middle step up to Clark and then Clark just dishes it off to Charlie Strobel and if you recall his first goal of the year this year came from a I, I thought a little bit better than uh, than some of the spurts they had last night so let's see if they can uh, carry forward here in a second Bremyev immediately in Noah Laba shot was blocked Gophers have three blocks in the first period to the Tigers one and the Gophers with an odd man rush to start. This is Pitlick. This is Snuggerud. That's a goal. Snuggerud strikes again. Two to one. Uh, Pitlick just patiently waited. Watch how long he just waits. And Minnesota turns Colorado College over right in the neutral zone. The speed of Pitlick, and he just waited for Snuggerud to get in the position. Puts the perfect path, pass on. Wraps it around the boards. Luke Middlestat works against Laba. Ten seconds until a power play. Gophers would like to have the zone when that happens. Moore peels off now. Here's Snuggerud. Back for oh. Moore. Moore shoots wide. And Laba will clear it out to center. Didn't get it too far though. Snuggerud right back in. It's a Gophers. Oh my gosh! Snuggerud does it again. <laughs> He's unstoppable. You know, right when he got control of that puck outside the blue line, I'm thinking, I wonder if he's going to shoot it. And he gets right over the blue line, and it's just that quick. Watch Jimmy Snuggerud. He's just going to. Pause a little bit, and then he snaps that wrist shot. And Barico, I don't even think, moved his glove. Didn't even move his glove. And it was in the back of the net. Is he going to be thinking about Thomas logged his first career goal earlier this season against UMD. Draw win, quick shot by Beck, scores, and it's a one goal game. Ryan Beck's third of the year, 3 2. Well, that's what the Tigers needed. They've been good this whole period. And right off the draw, quick little shot that just evaded Justin Close. May have been a screen. Moore loses a draw. Beck gets it and just lets it go to that far corner. Uh, Minnesota had a chance to keep that puck in. Initially, they did. Lamb in open ice. Huglin streaking oh. down the middle. Tipped. They score! Pitlick cleaned it up. A power play goal. 4 2. Well, Brody Lamb just throws it at the net. And right on the doorstep is Rip Pitlick. Initially, I thought. Lamb was going to make that pass to Hughlin, who was busted in. He waited, threw it on net, and Rep Pitlick was there to clean up the rebound and knock it in. The the wingers, yeah, Pitlick and Snuggerud, right. that might that might stick for the whole second. Well, I, I I think you're right because as you know, Sam, 
Um, you know, that we've had, we've seen different line combinations, different centers with Snuggerud and, and, you know, Pitlick on different lines. Here we go. Here's Pitlick. Pitlick holds oh. and scores! <laughs> The floodgates open for Minnesota. I'll see your two goals, Jimmy Snuggerud, and get a pair of my own. And Oliver Moore makes the pass up to Pitlick. He just waits and lets it go. Now he looks it off a little bit and then bam, quickly, and Embarico could not react to that. Post has been very, very active tonight, isn't that? He's coming out, he's challenging. And Tried to swat that puck out of the zone. You know, maybe, maybe he's getting a little irritated with the number of Colorado College players around. <laughs> he's been hit quite a few times tonight. <clears throat> Brought in here by Noah Laba. Laba gave it to Renzel, and Snuggerud's got a breakaway. Oh my. Snuggerud! Hats off! Three for Jimmy Snuggerud! I, I mean, seriously, that's another are you kidding me moment! Yeah, I, I thought he's going to make the pass here to Oliver Moore. No, nope. he just snapped him. He used the defenseman as a screen, put him in between his legs. He pulls it back, and it's just... I, I can't even explain it. There's no need to. That's his second career hat trick. His first came last year in his third collegiate game against Minnesota State Mankato, October 7th.